everyone and welcome back and today as you guessed it I'm in high now I'm only gonna fish a couple of hours a couple of hours two and a half hours and I'm basically fishing it down to low low is around 10 o'clock ish so it's about just quarter past eight now and what I'm doing is I'm walking along below the firing ranges here so I'll come onto Fisherman's Beach and I'm walking west and you can see the first tower behind me there and I'm going to fish in front of the second tower and I'm just going to see what's out there really um, I'm going to put a big bait out see if anything takes a big bait and then I'm going to put a scratchy rig out if my worms are still okay which I haven't checked and see if I'll get anything on that I don't like the state of tide but I do like the time of day. We're getting into dusk now. So I'm hoping maybe that gives me a little bit of hope even though the state of tide isn't great. So what I'm gonna do is get to the mark, get set up and we'll see what I'm gonna do. So I've got the first rod ready and I'll show you it in a minute. What I'm doing is just prepping the bait. It's all a bit frozen, but I will get off what I need. So here we got a bit of sardine and squid. So I'm gonna wrap them together like so. And then once they are sufficiently wrapped, like so, I will get them onto my rig so i'm going to get the first hook in just like that we'll get the second hook in straight down through the middle out there like so and i'm going to wrap that again and then i'll show you what i've got and there we go lovely jubbly hook on either side one at the top one at the bottom so anything should get hooked if it's going for that and that's a very neat sardine and squid wrap Right, so here we have it, the first rod is set up and that's a Synetic and this is going for big fish. So we've got the cross power 450, so that's four meters 50 long and that has got 32 kilo leader on it. It comes down to a pulley dropper rig and on that pulley dropper rig, you've just seen me bait it up. I've got a squid and sardine wrap. 170 gripper, so I'm gonna get that out now. So the first rod is out, and just keep an eye on that, and I'm going to set the second rod out. But what I just want to stress to people is, when you go fishing, you don't need to go to the well-known marks that everyone fishes, like your hives, your dungeonesses. Just go where you fancy. You never know where the fish are going to be. And the mark that you go to where you've never seen anyone fishing before, could be that supermarket that produces your 10 pound bass. So I like to get off the beaten track. I mean, this isn't really off the beaten track, but it's not often that you can get along here and fish in front of the ranges. So I've come along to fish it, but there's a lot of marks along Thanet, around the coast, especially in the Southeast, that people just don't fish. 
So get out there, give them a go, and you never know what you're going to find, what you're going to catch. I'm going to set my other rod up. Hopefully, I'll, well, I'm going to check my worms first, which will decide whether I'm going to scratch with it or whether I'm going to have to go with another big bait. So let's see if whether my worms are okay. Well, they're not looking the best, but they are still alive. I have got ragworm. They're still alive. So I'm going to scratch. I'm going to see if I can get some sole or some flatfish. So let's get my other rod set up. I think I'm going to go with a boom rig, clip down, get it out. See if I can get some, some flatfish on that. Right, we have something on the big rod. Come on, come back. What's on it? Come on. There we go. Come on. I think there's something on this. Yeah, we've got something on here. What have we got on here? We snagged? Oh no, it's come off. Ah, what was that? It's come off. Ooh. My bait has been smashed to pieces. Probably a smooth down pup. Let's get some more bait on that. Firstly, let's get the other one out. Right, very quickly, I've just been smashed on that, so I'm gonna get another bait out, but I'm gonna quickly get this one out, the scratching rig. So it's on the Sonic Gravity HT. I've got a 32 kilo casting leader on that, and it's going down to a three hook clipped boom rig. There it is. I've got a rag on each with short snoods and a 140 pyramid lead. So I'm gonna clip them down now, and I'm gonna cast this out. Get that out. Oh tripping over the rod rest and then I'm going to get the other one out as there's something out there. Right, so let's get this one on. Trying to keep an eye on that other rod. I don't want to miss a bite like I just did. Not happy. Well, there we go, happy with that. Let's get this cast back out. gone a long way out. It's come unclipped, but it's out there. Right, we've got a bite on here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Got a good fish on here. Oh yes, nice fish on here. What's taking the rag? A good fish. A good fish. Could it be a bass? Feels like a bass kicking, fighting. Looks like a nice fish. Or could it be a dogfish? It's only a light rig, I've got to go light with this. If it does feel like a good fish. 
I missed the first bite, so I waited till I could feel it. Just watching the other rod as well. Oh, this is uh, fighting well, whatever this is. Come on. Well, I don't know what this is. Is it a dogfish? I really don't know what this is. What is this? It's kicked all the way in. It's not far out now. Oh, it's a little ray on ragworm. I will take that. <laughs> We've got a thorny on a bit of ragworm. Look at that, eh? I think he might have uh, got him foul up. That's why he's uh, fought like that. But uh, still a fish. So there we are. I've got a little form back ray. And he was hooked on the three hook boom rig. And he was foul hooked. I don't know if he genuinely went for the bait and got hooked. I'm not sure. Um, but when you foul hook a fish, it really does feel a bit bigger than it actually is. And I had to go light because it's a light rig. But pleased with that I've missed a bite and I've had the thorn back now look at the eye on that how pretty is that anyway he's only small so we're gonna get him back now and there he is let's get him in the water come on there he goes back into the sea come on mate off you swim and there he goes there Lovely. Please, with that first cast on the uh, scratching rig and get a ray. Um, keep an eye on the other rig, but I'm going to get baited back up. See if I can get something else. Right, I'm baiting up and my other rods just started bouncing, so I'm going to watch that. Let's see what that does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, come on. Let's leave them there a minute. Something on this. Come on. Take the bait. Come on. Very ray-like that was again. Let's see what happens. And as soon as I come back to uh, bait up, the rod goes again. Just my luck. I think I've lost this now. Oh, the second bite I've missed on here. I think it's small rays. I'm going to change the rig. Smashed again. Smashed up again.
smashed up again. Look at that, no bait. Right, let's try again. I'm gonna put a bigger bit out this time, I think. Another fish on this. Just so I was changing my GoPro battery. Another fish on Another fish on the boom ring. Trying to bait up the other one. The pit manic. Here we are, look at that, another little ray. They obviously like the ragworm, these little rays. Great fight on a little three hook clip rig. But um, we're gonna get him back now. Too small to keep. But still, a bit of action. Please with that. All right, here we go, second one. Being released now. There he goes. Back off into the water. Come on, mate. There he is, he's just sitting there. Getting his bearings, getting himself back. That water rushing past him is good on the gills. That should be enough to get him going. Let's have a look. And he's gone. Well, there's a bit of action here. Um, I'm gonna get that rebaited up. I've got both rods in now, so I need to get bait on them both. I need to get a battery in my GoPro because I was doing that when the bite went off. So, oh, it's a bit mad. Let's get this back out and the show back on the road. Right, so I'm deciding to go a little bit bigger with the bait. Not monstrously bigger, but a little bit bigger. So we get this onto the pulley dropper rig again. I'm getting bites on that. I think it's small rays and basically the rig is a bit too big for the small rays, but I'm gonna try and get a bigger bait onto, so it lasts a bit longer, um, hoping that a bigger one comes along. So here we go again. that out of there. And out there like that. Right, let's get this back out. Get this banded on there nicely. Voila. loosen a drag on this this time just in case well let's get some more ragworm on this well i've just cast this i've got slack line on the other one let's see what's going on see what's going on slack line slack line that's slack line oh a lot of slack line a lot of slack line a lot of slack line loads of slack line what's going on here what's coming in yes what's on here something's on here Something decent on here. What have we got here? Come on. Come on. Come on, what have I got? It's coming. Come on. Get moving. It was caught on something then, but it's moving now. I think it's a decent ray. Come on. I've either foul looked at a ray, which I think I might have done. I think I've foul looked at a ray. I can feel it. 
Just like the other one doesn't go. It's dragging. Oh, I feel it dragging. Unless it's a stingray, but I ain't get around here. I can feel it dragging. But it's kicking. Wherever it is. Yeah, I think it's foul looked. It's foul looked. Come on. Oh no, have I lost it? No, here it comes. Oh no, is that other rod going? Oh, the other rod's going to have to wait. Come on. I'm going to get up and over it. Yes, yeah, foul looked. Has it come off? No. Oh yes, yeah, foul looked. It's a little ray, I think. No, of a little ray. Oh. Oh, they're hard work when they're foul looked. <laughs> Here it is. Here it comes. Oh, he's not foul looked. Don't know why that was so hard. Oh, there's the third one. Barely been here an hour, I think. Just watch the other rod. That can go over at any time. There we go, look at that. No, he's fairly hooked. That was dragging on the bottom. I don't know what the terrain is here, but. There he is, unhooked. Lovely little thorny. Let's get him back. Here he goes. There he goes, straight back that one. He's off. Lovely. There we go, bye. All right, let's see what's... Oh, is he pulling? Is he pulling? Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Yeah! Yeah! Another fish. Another ray. I don't want these turns to go through my line like that. Feels like another ray. Oh, I don't know, it's up on that. Oh, or is it foul looks? It's up on the surface. A long way out. Well, these little rays do like the uh, ragworm. It's the third one on Ragworm. I'm presuming it's a ray. It is a ray, I think. There he is out there, here he comes. Where is he now? Oh, he's just come off. He's just come off. The little bugger's just come off there. Oh. Right, let's get baited up, get back out. 